Guess what, folks? It's Mic Drop. Mic Drop! Except Mike is not here. So it's going to be Wendy Drop. But we're not using <laughs> Wendy Drop because it's just not the right thing to do. It doesn't flow as well. It just doesn't yeah. flow. So what did Mike leave you with today? Well, um, we have... A, a pr- I think it's a pretty good one. So normally it's, you know, obviously it's a mic drop, but this time, you know, hopefully it's a little prettier. Uh, so normally it's a it's a, a drop on an individual person. And the last time I was here, I did also an individual person. Um, but this time I'm going to talk about a type of person. So today we're talking about the apathetic activist. And who that, might that be? I coined that phrase. It's pretty cool. So I work for San Diego County Gun Owners, and I was a founding board member all the way back in 2015. And one of our many goals in our jobs is to organize the world of Second Amendment activists. Mm-hmm. So we have seen a ton of really great activists, people who plan, who organize, who roll up their sleeves. They work at tabletops. You know, some of them multiple times a month. They come to city council meetings. They help walk precincts to get candidates elected. There's so many things that our members have done to be effective activists. And it's really great to see that. It's humbling to see so many people step up and do what needs to get done under the banner of San Diego County gun owners. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we try to make that activism easy. But... There are a lot of times that I see people every day thinking that activism is complaining without doing, Mm. or they think that activism is sharing a meme on Facebook or, or writing a post on Facebook or complaining about people that they disagree with Mm -hmm. or telling other people what should be happening, like filing a lawsuit. But, None of those things actually get anything done, right? Right. They don't, you know, they might tell other people your viewpoint, but activism truly is doing activities that will result directly in a change to public policy. And that's what we are trying to do. Tantrums and snarky arguments, those aren't going to change public policy. Watching from the sidelines don't change public policy. I've had a lot of conversations with people who don't think anything good will ever happen. Like they just believe that it's not possible to make any change. That's right. Um, And they think that the solution is to flee, to Mm -hmm. move out of California rather than stand up to it. And some are, you know, big, strong men who say they're really tough. But then when we talk about actually getting involved, they don't, they don't care. They just, they're afraid of it. And those are politicians. Well, in some cases, sometimes. Yeah, Yeah. they are. They are. Yeah, sometimes. Um, But, you know, I'm not afraid. I think that it is possible to make change Mm -hmm. and I'm not hesitant to actually fight back. And I want to do it for not just myself, but also my kids, because they're our future. Right. We live in America, and the great experiment that is America is living in a country of the self-governed. And the price of governing yourself is simple, but it's expensive. You have to be involved. So that price is not just money, but also time. Mm -hmm. You have to be involved in the system that was designed not to govern over you, but is truly designed to protect you, protect your liberties and protect your freedoms. So if you find yourself deciding that your hobbies are more important than setting aside a weekend or an evening to do effective activism, or if you have made the decision that buying another AR or another Glock is a better investment than in your gun rights than donating to an organization that's fun, fun, fighting for your gun rights, don't be surprised when people who don't fight back are making your rules and taking your rights away. Mm. So to the hardworking activists who I have the honor of supporting and standing shoulder to shoulder with on the front lines, I want to say thank you. To those who don't want to be on the sidelines but aren't sure where to start, join an organization, any one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm a little biased. I like San Diego County gun owners. So do I. Um, You know, but any of them, 
do something yeah. to to contribute to the to the activism. Right. Um, San Diego County gun owners, we try to make it really easy to mm. be effective. We provide ways to um, to actually give back. You know, come to a meeting and find out. Or volunteer for one of our uh, tabletops or even at a shooting social. I was at a shooting social this morning. We helped 18 people. Most of them were brand new, had never touched a gun before. Wow. And we were able to provide them a safe and comfortable experience where they're going to go off and become pro Second Amendment right. voters. How rewarding was that? That was, it's one of the best programs that we have, I, honestly. Yeah. The shooting socials, it's so much fun. Yeah. Everybody always has a great time, yeah. um, and it's a great price, especially yeah. now with the price of ammo. Yeah. Okay. Was it fifty bucks? It's fifty bucks. You get fifty Everything. rounds of ammo, which Everything. is a steal right now, and you get a person to stay with you. So that's it's a yeah. really great program. Right. So volunteer on our volunteer page. You know, I can't wait to help anybody who's interested. There you go. So to those who just aren't going to get involved, no matter how many victories we have, and no matter how easy we make it to help, to you, I'm gonna quote Edmund Burke. The only necessary, I'm sorry, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And that is Mic Drop. Mic Drop. With Wendy. With Wendy. <laughs> All right. Mic Very drop. good. Wendy, it has been so much fun hanging with you for two hours. It I was a blast. It. Can't wait for the boys to leave again. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.